What did he get? Oh, you're such a sophisticated man. Yes, it is. Thank you. You're having a vegan meal today. You're not a school of must. Nope. You know what that means? Uh, it's trying to find a nut. Oh, that makes you. Oh, that looks amazing. Now, the handle on that uh, apple pie, uh, be careful when you do a little spoon here. This guy's uh, apple pie. This is I tell anyone he always touches. This is actually. Thank you. The Saturday win $225 rebuy. The best weekly tournament in Las Vegas. Value, structure, competition level, profitability, luxury, elegance. I love the win. We're on the rooftop where they got views on views. Beautiful day in Las Vegas, about 80 degrees. Of course, the Encore Beach Club is popping as usual. Let's hope we're only in for $225. About 2 a.m., we'll walk away with $10,000 US dollars in our pocket. It's going to be a great feeling. I'm projecting my emotions and my intent into the universe. Please listen, universe. I need this 10K for the bankroll challenge. Ran my 10K up to 17K in the first couple hands with some thin value betting. Doing a new thing with my sizing is directly proportionate to my hand strength. Pretty exploitable, but eh, they don't know any better. So uh, we'll see how that works out. But we got coolered. Pocket Kings versus King Jack on Jack Jack 10 flop. Lost four or five thousand there. So we're back down to starting stack. Going to 150, 300, 40 minutes remaining in the rebuy period. It's the time of the season when we love runs high. With blinds at 200, 400 with a 50 ante. We're under the gun with 6.5 suited and 30,000 chips. Rebuy period's over. We decided to open to 1,000. This is the very bottom of our under the gun opening range, but table's pretty soft, so we can play profitably post flop. To my surprise, I get five calls. That's right, five calls, three in position, two in the blinds, so we're six ways to a flop. Flop comes seven, four, three with the seven, four of spades. Can hardly believe my eyes. The blinds check and I have to figure out if it's best to check raise or just uh, value bet, six ways. Decided to go for the 2,500 value bet. Guy to my immediate left puts in the call and everybody else folds. At this point, I'm putting them on something like 7x, a set, or a bigger flush draw. The turn is the ace of spades. Definitely not the card I wanted to see. He has about uh, 10,000 behind, so we put in 
small value bet of 2500 again he hesitates like he doesn't like it and he puts in the call so i'm pretty confident with my now flush with open-ended straight flush redraw the river is a king of diamonds he has 8,000 behind there's 16,000 in the pot i don't think there's much uh, option other than jamming so we bet 8,000 and he goes into the tank and eventually finds a fold. I guess he did flop top pair, two pair or a set. Definitely, definitely didn't fold a flush, although he played very weak tight earlier. We're on second break with 35,000 chips going to 4,000 or 400, 800. Beautiful day at the win. There's the pool. With blinds at 400, 800 with a 75 ante. Action folds around to me in the small blind. 40,000 stack. Pocket nines and a guy from Barcelona that I know is going to be aggressive in the big blind. So we raise it up to 2,800. He has about 30,000 and he puts in the call. Flop comes 10, 7, 3, two diamonds. We don't have a diamond. To put in a value bet with our nines of 2300 and he puts in the call turn is a 10 still think we have the best hand i think he's going to float us a lot with a lot of straight draws ace high over cards so we bet for value again with our two pair four thousand he puts in the call the river is an innocuous deuce uh, not too much merit in betting for value here, unless I'm putting him on exactly like 7x or a small pair. I think it's more likely as a missed flush draw or missed straight draw. So we check it over to him. He bets 11,000. I snap call. He sheepishly shows King Jack offsuit for the old double float. Oh, these guys from Barcelona. The Euros are already in town, trying to take it to the streets. We showed them who was boss, and we now have 60,000 chips. In this time, give it to me easy. With blinds at 400, 800, 75 ante. We get moved to a new table with mostly old Caucasian males and one young German male. So we know who we're going to be going to battle with. Action folds to middle position who limps in off a 50k stack. We're on the button with King Jack of Clubs, so we make it 2,500. The blinds fold and the limper calls. The flop comes Queen, Seven, Deuce, One Club. He checks. We down bet to 2,200 on this dry flop. It's going to miss a lot of his uh, limp calling range, but he does put in the call. Our plan is to barrel if we pick up a king, a straight draw, or a flush draw. The turn is the four of clubs giving us the flush draw. He checks. We size up for a turn barrel of 5,200. Hoping to fold out all his mid pairs, 7x combos, but he puts in the call. All right, we're going to need to hit. The river is a jack we now have showdown value if he was holding on with a seven or mid pair he checks and we check back he shows king queen offsuit and we lose a decent sized pot let me try with pleasure hands to take you in the south with blinds at 600 1200 100 ante we're seven handed i'm under the gun Look down at pocket jacks, make it 2,700. Action folds all the way to the big blind. Same male from the uh, king queen, king jack hand. And he puts in a three bet to 11,200. Younger Jeff would just say, all right, we're all in, good luck. But then you gotta step back and think, what's he really three betting here? Ace king? Pocket Queens Plus, is that his range? Ugh, maybe I should just fold jacks? Uh, we do have position and uh, a few pot-sized bets behind. 
So I think folding is just a little bit too weak, seven-handed. And sometimes old guys just spaz out because you raise their big blind and they take it personally. So I put in the call. Let's play some streets. The flop comes. King four deuce with two spades. We do not have a spade. And he bets 2,000. Well, I could see him doing this with uh, tens. Just clicking a button with ace, queen, aces, kings. But 2,000 is a good enough price that we can continue. We put in the call. The turn is an ace. Now we don't beat really anything. And he checks. Is he giving up with his bluff? Or did he turn top two, top set? He checks, we check. The river's a five, and he bets 3,000. What is that, 10% of the pot? I really think he has pocket queens for some reason, and he's just real scared. So I contemplate putting in a big raise, turning my jacks into a bluff. But uh, getting 10 to one or whatever, I think it's reasonable just to put in the call. And he shows pocket kings. Oh, set is good. Nice hand. Elderly gentleman. It's the time of the season for love. I lose a couple small pots and fold a lot of hands. And now we're on dinner break. I have about 22,000. What's your name? What's your name? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? And coming back to 1,000, 2,000. So we're gonna get some food and play a little session of one, two, pot, 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 pot limit Omaha. Is he rich like me? With blinds at $1, $2 with a $5 bring in, we're in some pot limit Omaha, $200 buy-in. There's two limps, we're in the small blind with ace, ace, nine, seven, rainbow. With any suit, we'd raise this up, but being out of position and suitless, I think it's best to be deceptive and just flick in the five. The big blind does not want to cooperate, and he makes it pot, which is 25 to go. The limpers fold, and we repot to 80, I believe. He calls. We started the hand with $260. The flop comes, ace, king, four, rainbow. Hoping he has pocket kings or ace, king, some sort of combo like that. We bet 60, he puts in the call. I'm hoping for no Broadway. I would probably give him a, a straight or kill our action. Turn is a deuce, I don't think he has three five, so we shove all in for our last $120. He puts in the call and shows queen jack 10 deuce, nice hanger. Let's hold for $500 plus pot. The river is the queen giving him Broadway. He shows the Jack-10 proudly. And we reload for $200. I love Omaha.